Tip Tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut. Now today we're going to take a look at recreating a tiled background for use on web pages or as a pattern brush inside Photoshop, things like that. Um, so let's just dive straight in. First thing you're going to want to do is create a new document. Um, we'll do it from scratch here so you can see it. Just go to File New and create a document that's 500 pixels by 500 pixels. It doesn't really matter what the size is, but since you're going to be tiling it, you want to keep it relatively small. Um, so maybe even stick this at 250 by 250. Like I said, doesn't matter what size it is, as long as you know what size it is, because that's important later. So there we go, 250 by 250. Let's quickly draw in a nice background color, like so. And let's also put a square, nice yellow square in the middle. Um, rotate it by 45 degrees. Um, maybe make it a bit bigger. And put that in the middle. That's fine as a live shape, that's not a problem. Um, what we also want to do then is create a second one on top. So let's put that on a fresh layer. Um, create a second square, slightly bigger, and make this stroke and no fill. Um, is that about the right thickness of stroke? Yeah, that seems fine. Okay, so let's make that a bit smaller and rotate by 45 degrees and put that in the middle of the page. Oh, bit close, but you know what? That looks fine uh, because it's going to be sort of that big, isn't it? Okay, that looks great. So what we'll do now then is we'll merge those uh, layers together by rasterizing both of them and merging them so we're left with one shape on one layer. Uh, then you're going to want to duplicate that by hitting Control J or Command J on a Mac um, and hide the layer underneath. That's an important step. Make sure you remember that. Then what you want to do is go to your offset menu uh, in order to create the duplicates that is going to turn this into a pattern. And you find that under filter other offset. OK, now you're going to want to set the horizontal and vertical pixels to be half the size of your document. So this is 250. So you want it to be 125 by 125. And what that will do is it's as if it sliced your um, artwork down the middle and down the uh, middle horizontally as well and put each of the corners into their relevant corners okay if you don't see that it's because you haven't got wrap around selected um, and if you can't see any changes it's because you haven't got preview selected so make sure you've got both those selected and hit okay then if you make the layer beneath it visible again you're left with your original shape and the shape in the corners so again make sure those are rasterized merge them together you might as well merge it with the background as well because we've got our pattern now. So if you were to just drop this into a new document, say let's make it a um, thousand by a thousand, just for neatness's sake, you could, if you wanted to, drag this in, duplicate the layers, and you'd have a perfectly replicating pattern. But you don't want to have to do that manually. It takes a long time. It's very messy. That'll take forever. You don't want to do that. What you want to do um, is create this as a pattern. If you're going to use it for a web page, then you're all done. Um, you just inside your CSS, you'd obviously put repeat X and Y to repeat, uh, and then it would just do that automatically if you chose this as the background image. If you want to use this inside Photoshop and stuff, you have to create a pattern. Now, I believe the way you do that is you go to edit and then you choose uh, define pattern. And what this does is it makes it basically um, a fill that you can use when you have a fill or a stroke in um, your like preferences menu. Um, that's what it creates. So we'll call this one um, tiled background and hit OK. Um, then what you want to do is let's pop over to our new document. Say there's a thousand pixels wide um, and then we want to add a new layer. Um, and give it a fill. So let's put a new layer on and go to uh, edit menu again and choose fill. And what this does is it you could fill it with a color. Um, I think the shortcut for this is shift F5. Yep, that brings up the fill menu. Um, so you can give it a color or you can fill with the foreground and background color from your um, palette down here, or you can give it a pattern. And then you just choose your pattern from the menu and hit OK. And there you go. It just fills that area with the pattern you just created. And that's all there is to it. Um, you can do that with shapes. You can do it with paths that you've drawn. You can do it with anything you want. But yeah, nice short lesson today. I hope you guys learned something from that. If you didn't, I'm um, sorry. If you did, great. Stick around. There's more to come. And I'll see you next time.
Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.